to this Advent Sunday service from the Irving, Gelt and Eden Mission Community. Our mission community includes two Methodist congregations at Brampton and Gilsland and 14 Church of England parishes from Gilsland in the east to Crosby on Eden in the west. As a mission community, we are working and witnessing together to make the Christian faith known as widely as possible. The season of Advent provides us with great opportunities to do this. Our opening hymn is the Advent Carol, Come Thou Long Expected, Jesus. difficulties, pain and distractions. As we enter the season of Advent, we are called afresh to be ready for the coming of the Son of Man into our world to gather his chosen people. The Lord be with you. And also with you. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect and readings for Advent Sunday. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah, chapter 64, verses 1 to 9. 
Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you, who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways, but you were angry and we sinned, because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name, or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us, and have delivered us into the hands of our iniquity. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 3 to 9. My brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given to you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds and from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, When you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, 
this generation will not pass away until all of these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight or at cockcrow or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. On our Advent wreath, there are five candles. Four of them are for each of the weeks of Advent, and the fifth one we light on Christmas Day. The four candles around the base are actually <clears throat> used to remind us of some of the people who were involved in the uh, looking for the coming of Jesus. The first one which we like today reminds us of the patriarchs, people like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, through really to David. So let us pray. God of Abraham and Sarah and all the patriarchs of old, you are our father too. Your love is revealed to us in Jesus Christ, Son of God and Son of David. Help us in preparing to celebrate his birth, to make our hearts ready for your Holy Spirit, to make his home among us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Lord Jesus, light of the world, born in David's city of Bethlehem, born like him to be a king, be born in our hearts this Christmas tide. Be king of our lives today. Amen. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the Church of England, Advent Sunday is the beginning of the Church's year. This, however, is not the case for all of us. For our Methodist friends, the annual church cycle begins in September. Nonetheless, here we are at the end of November. Some of you may be thinking, how can another year have gone by so quickly? What happened to the last 12 months? Looking back at our childhood, we sometimes imagine we can remember a golden age when time stood still. Endless summer days with time to play and have fun. Growing up in the post-war era, there was peace. Memories of the war faded, and when Mr Heath told us that we'd never had it so good, there was relative prosperity too. For most of the United Kingdom, the last 75 years has been a time of unprecedented peace, stability and prosperity. But in our Gospel reading, Jesus says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. There has always been much vain and useless argument about the Second Coming. When will it be? What will it be like? The answers are not ours to know. The one great truth which is enshrined here is that history as we know it will come to an end. The Christian concept of history is that it is a timeline and it has a goal. And at that goal Christ Jesus will be Lord of all. That is all we know and is indeed all we need to know. Jesus says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. 
How then are we to understand this? The lessons of history teach us that nothing is permanent. Permanence is the illusion of every age. The rise and fall of the great empires and civilizations confirm this. Nothing is beyond the whims of history. Most of the seven wonders of the ancient world no longer exist. The British Empire, the empire on which the sun never set, no longer exists. Those golden days of our childhood no longer exist. In our mission community area, we have heritage like the remains of Hadrian's Wall and the ruins at Lanacost Priory that bear witness to the ravages of time. Heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away. In this season of Advent, we look back to the first coming of Christ at Christmas and look forward to the day when he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. As Christians, we know that our earthly lives are finite. We know that this world as we know it will not last forever. But we also know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that our future is secure in his safekeeping. His kingdom will have no end. There is a plan. There is an end game. We are simply called to be alert, to stand firm in our faith, to be ready to meet our Redeemer and Judge when the time comes. As Christians, we can live this earthly life to the full, knowing that the best is yet to come, knowing that our Lord Jesus has gone ahead of us to prepare a place for us in his Father's house. This is good news, good news that is meant to be shared. As Christians, we are called to share our belief with others, that others may come to believe and to have the same hope and assurance we have. I wonder, who might you share your faith with in the run-up to Christmas this year? Christmas is a time for sharing. Share your faith with someone this Christmas time. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Generous God, we thank you for our mission community, the Irthing, Geld and Eden mission community. As we seek to follow Jesus and to make more disciples, fill us with the light of your love this Advent, so that your light may shine into our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. Loving God, your Son healed the sick and brought good news to the needy. As the pandemic continues, come to your world this Advent. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Jesus, you taught us to do unto others as you would have them do to you. Be with all carers and medical staff this Advent. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. Loving Spirit, your gift is healing. Bring your healing into our homes, our hospitals and our country this Advent. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. 
In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Almighty God, good Father to us all, your face is turned towards your world. In love you gave us Jesus your Son to rescue us from sin and death. Your word goes out to call us home to the city where angels sing your praise. We join with them in heaven's song. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. To the darkness Jesus came as your light, with signs of faith and words of hope. He touched untouchables with love and washed the guilty clean. The crowds came out to see your son, yet at the end they turned on him. On the night he was betrayed, he came to table with his friends to celebrate the freedom of your people. Jesus blessed you, Father, for the food. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body given for you all. Jesus then gave thanks for the wine. He took the cup, gave it and said, This is my blood shed for you all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate the cross on which he died to set us free. Defying death, he rose again and is alive with you to plead for us and all the world. Send your Spirit on us now, that by these gifts we may feed on Christ with open eyes and hearts on fire. May we and all who share this food offer ourselves to live for you and be welcomed at your feast in heaven, where all creation worships you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Body of Christ, keep us all in eternal life. Amen. The blood of Christ, keep us all in eternal life. Let us pray. O Lord our God, make us watchful and keep us faithful as we await the coming of your Son, our Lord, that when he shall appear he may not find us sleeping in sin, but active in his service and joyful in his praise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. As we await our coming Saviour, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>